all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to be going over the mirror feature so basically this allows you to take any entity geometry wireframe and mirror it, whether it's about x-axis y-axis or even another feature so let's go ahead and learn how to do that so go to the transform tab right here and select mirror now select the entity you want to mirror so first let's go ahead and get started by selecting this circle and select and selection now we're going to keep it at the copy okay we've learned already about move and join and about selecting more geometry so we'll keep it at copy and what we're going to do is learn what happens when we mirror about y x and a and either also about lines and also with two points okay so let's go ahead and learn that so first we're going to select the y axis so when you just select the y axis it's going to automatically mirror it about the origin so it places an invisible line you can barely see it it's a dashed line right in the middle and you only see it when you start actually moving the circle closer you can see the line right there and further as well okay you can see the line appear right there that's going to be the middle point where it's mirroring so zero is always going to be right where the origin is now you can do the same thing about the x-axis now the only thing with that is that it's already on the x-axis so it's really copying it copying itself over itself now if you start moving it away though now you can see that it moves away and this is the x-axis right here and don't get that confused i know some people might look at that and say okay well this is y how is that copying it over here because remember this is y so they look at that as being y but don't look at that look at this point right here this point is on x so the distance between here and here is what you're getting right here so that one inch is that distance between here and here well guess that what that distance is actually on x axis so that's why this is on x and not on y okay you can also do an angle so it places it on an angle 45 degrees and copies it from there and you can change that angle to make it as you like now obviously i believe 90 degrees should be straight and it goes from there now you can also mirror about a line and two points right here if you want as well but that's not the case for this one because you'll actually have to select them and i'll show you how to do that later on now fit the screen obviously makes it fit the screen and use new attributes if you want to change the color of that so what i'm going to do is exit out real quick and let's go ahead and learn how to mirror this feature right here so first select mirror and i'm going to select all of these lines right here there you go and then select end selection so now that i have that done say i want to mirror that also about the x-axis and see how it mirrors it to the other side so it's not going to copy it just like that is on the other side it's actually going to mirror it so it's the same thing as looking in the mirror to the other side or folding that piece of paper in half will place this over this okay so that's how the mirror uh, feature works now say you want to actually project over a line for example and not just use this invisible line like say you want to use this line to project this on the other side so you'd simply come over here and you notice how you can't select the line or the two points you can simply select that button right here and then select your line right after that and see how it takes that and mirrors it right on top using that line now you can also do that using the two points so select that right here you can select one point another point and it's going to mirror that the same way so those two points are the same as a line so it mirrors them over there okay so that's a quick overview going over how to mirror geometry in metrocam